Hi and Mike, so we should be able to pick up our voices. Yeah, I got that fluff fluff thing. Oh, mm. Bebo. I hope it works. Yeah. It's not the best in the market, so <laughs> yeah. it doesn't work, doesn't work. Peter, your mom. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Alan, all yours, the floor's yours. Okay. Mm. Well, I am Bundy. Hi. Hello. I am I am Alan. I am 22 years old. I have learned of it that she promised I want to go traveling, go visiting, and my mom. My kids do not me. I am the addict man on earth. I'm the happiest man on earth. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> good, good to know. It's good. Okay, we'll, we'll do some introductions, Alan. Will you ask our guests who they are, and then we can go around introducing ourselves. Now that you've introduced yourself, you can you can prompt oh. any of the ladies and gentlemen. I, I see our you to pick up. Sure, I will start. <laughs> this is on your right, okay? Uh, I'm Peter. Peter. Um, I. Uh, just started in uh, Spectra Secondary School, yeah. of which Mr. Tan is the principal. Mm. And uh, I do uh, numeracy support, which is like a bit of math. Okay, mm. I, I support the math department, a uh, particular uh, group of children, okay, uh, in small groups and in the class. And I just finished a class, okay, with two students just now. That's why I rushed here, yeah. Mm. Mm. That's me, Peter. You want to invite you as well? Yes, thank you. I am Tech Hawk, call me Tech Hawk. Yep, uh, I just happen to be the principal of the school. <laughs> I don't look the part. Uh, I think I look more like a security guard <laughs> or special forces. Yes, he yeah. does. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I mean, I, I was joking. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yes, uh, I was just uh, maybe just a year ahead of Peter, uh, posted to Spectra Secondary School. Uh, it's a it's a very nice school, and if you have an opportunity, I'd like to invite you to the school. Uh, we do have two students, which is only twenty one as well, and uh, they may be quite happy to meet uh, other people as well. Yeah, in fact, this morning when director of schools lady came, she did ask if our school uh, mm. has any, and I said, yeah, we do have two girls actually. Uh, they're happy like you, happiest person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and uh, yeah, uh, and I am here because I'm curious about what uh, Auntie Tenning uh, is doing, and uh, I told myself that uh, busy as I am in the school, uh, mm. usually we work, but uh, I thought that this afternoon uh, I'm just going to leave my mind empty, open, and, and see what I can learn mm. from you, and hopefully I get to see Natasha soon. Yeah, thank you very much. Take off. So, okay, if I, uh, you have a well? Hello, I am Wendy. Okay, mm -hmm. in fact, I'm one of the pioneers that have been with Spectra for, I think mm -hmm. this year will be my eighth year. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm actually a hospitality major, but uh, for some reasons, I, I was working actually in the retail industry and I kind of liked what I was doing. And eventually, um, I actually came into teaching. Uh, I don't think I had the idea of even wanting to be a teacher ever. But I think it's different when it's vocational skills. So if you ask me, I think being in Spectra is, I think it's one of the most meaningful work that I have done so far. Yeah. Okay, right, you ask her? Oh, sure. My name is Lyman. 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 Yes. Hmm. And uh, I am a retiree. <laughs> <laughs> we don't believe that, that's not a lousy thing. Right? So, retiring? Try harder. I mean, like, uh, I used to be working with the Ministry of Education. <laughs> uh, last year, I no longer, so I retired from the Ministry of Education. And I started to work for my boss. <laughs> <laughs> so, under my boss, right, I've been working with him under him for one and a half years, almost one and a half years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, tell you something interesting about the school spectra. I'm a pioneer teacher, just like Wendy, mm -hmm. all right? One of the beautiful things that uh, I was able to do in spectra together with the students and the teachers and the parents 
is to build a very nice rooftop garden and we grow a lot of food. In total, we have grown 70 over varieties of food on the rooftop of the school building. Mm -hmm. That's very exciting, right? Yeah. So I hope you can one day come and visit our rooftop garden and see the different varieties of food that we grow there. <laughs> yes, that's how exciting the school can be. Yes, mm. and I would like to visit those, those two. So, well again? Definitely. Yeah, you're welcome to visit the school. Yeah? Yes. Mm. So, well again? What's the name of the school? Spectra, yeah. my name. Mm. Yeah, correct. Okay, just call me Hop. Hop, 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 if you remember her advertisement, she was the Mrs. Chong in mm. the advertisement a few years ago. So there will be a question later. Yeah, okay. Sure. 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 PowerPoint. Oh, a PowerPoint. What is yes. PowerPoint? Yes. Sure. Yeah. 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 Go ahead, Ellen. Show us the PowerPoint. So we, we have a, a lot of goals. Don't want to buy buy everything. Okay, Natasha, you have joined us. <laughs> How was your travel here, Natasha? Yeah. Yeah. What were you fighting to get to us? Huh? Huh? What were you fighting through to get to us? Traffic? Yeah. Huh? What happened? Mommy was teaching me to put the last video for the first time so that I can familiarize myself. Ah, uh, did you get on to the wrong stop or something? No. Okay. You're I was with mommy. You were on target. I was with mommy. Mm -hmm. You were with mommy. Was it mommy was great? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, mommy was com accompanying you, huh? That's mm -hmm. good. That's good. You're getting more familiar with coming here. Yeah. Huh? Very good, very good. Yeah. Maybe you can introduce yourself to, to our guests. Okay. I am Natasha. I graduated last year from ITA doing business and services. Mm -hmm. Since then, I have been going to the gym, handling the newspapers. Um, I've actually done a sign language course mm -hmm. that started quite a few weeks ago. I've also been taking pottery classes. So still catching your breath. Well, yeah. then, um, you're part of the internship. Then uh, essentially, uh, the interns being high name interns also co develop the program. So, one of the things they do is program development. Mm -hmm. right. So, now they are the first, the pioneer apprentices of Blueberries Blue. Uh, so, they are also doing the program development. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, then one of the projects is this one, which is uh, Blueberries Blue Open Studios, where they are hosting. And we have all our itinerary that we send out, right? Uh, and they're also documenting, so they've got some reflections uh, of of uh, the internship. The or uh, uh, Tasha has a personal atelier time. So under the program, we always have something called personal atelier. You always have a space for your personal development. Mm. Yeah. I'm not familiar with atelier. Atelier is like a studio. Ah, fancy <laughs> name. <laughs> yeah. So. So, because we're quite uh, art centric, uh, I mean, to, to find your voice is, is, is uh, you know, you, you have to have that freedom. Uh, and of course, direction. Uh, and we're always about kind, simple kindness and positive contribution to the mm -hmm. world. Yeah. So, simple. Simple words, simple ideas. Uh, everybody knows. And uh, so, so, Tasha was doing pottery. Then uh, she's then uh, Teacher Jack. She goes to Teacher Jack's studio. So mobility is very important to inculcate for the independence and freedom. So, so that was the internship. And there was a lot of other interns and the interns basically got together to basically um, organize the micro summit. Okay? So something like this, yeah, they always organize. And that's why we bought the whole kitchen there, you know, top to toe, everything. And then 
we have collaborators and we share the space and we distribute the profits. So, so the entrepreneurism, must, discipline must always be there. So others get very detached mm. from, from money and their economy and their society. Okay. So, so that's, that's the idea. I'm not very good with this. I think <laughs> I was videoing the floor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, very bad. See, but very you know, a lot of things we do quite live as well. No, no, no prep, huh? No need to over prep. Huh? Okay. Is it everything? Yeah. Okay. Take it away. But oh, where is my? No, you're going to talk about this work schedule today. Different, different program. No, she's uh um Michael Sun one. You want to talk about the other one? The, the other one. I already said you know. Yeah, yeah, my favorite is this shit. You like this one? Yeah. Okay. 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 So, uh, to Admin Taish, yeah. welcome to the new schedule. Uh -huh. uh, I will share my journey with baby in the ship. Hmm. So, let's start from who am I? I had, uh, as I said earlier on, my name is Ellen, I am 22 years old. I have many of these that reading, seeing, swimming, too far, watching movie, cook family, play the team, and many more. As I said to you just now, I am the average man on earth. I started my baby relationship in 2019. If I find patient in my first in July 2019, it is a wonderful experience for me because I met my friend that not such a Jesus. And my friend Juma, Nicholas, Chris, you know, a man more you can see them on the picture as well. I was so happy to see them as well. I met other people as well in my question that you are from Sweden. For a very complex, I could look at from Malaysia, Singapore neighbor, which got so many topics like cultural, food, job, education, politics, and many more. It was so fun and learned so much from my mentor and my friend. After some we had many meetings. We seek out everything like finish what we do next, make a video, and so on. The meeting made me, the meeting made me very happy because I can learn about others. We have a lot of fun together. I enjoy meeting very much. And I learned a lot from my friends and my mentor. I learned how to plan, how to work in a team, how to create a new account, how to create a new account. And then more, I even learned how to cook. Because she means I'm very happy in the photo, how to share it. Do we call it nothing? We met on Zoom because we can have a face to face meeting because it's going to happen. My mentor told me for us I would do meeting, a very nice meeting. So far, we also have many new friends from, from Australia and new experience from Russia. It is so exciting and really enjoy every time we met. I love walking, I can pick in eating, because people love where they meet, where they meet, yeah, I thought. I want to thank everybody for opportunity. My pleasure.
And also, I want to thank all those new people in the family in the ship. And I'm so happy I work it now. So, thank you for your listening. And I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Where did you come from? Wonderful, Elisa. Okay. Thank you. Is there any other person for me? Wait, I didn't. I did not I just wanted to ask you uh, how long did it take for you to prepare this presentation? Well, I did. 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 I Pardon? No, I actually, I prepared it for my meeting, many, many times, you know. Many times. The many times. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a question. So, uh, so what do you, what do you do in this school? What do I do in school? No, <laughs> what do you do in this school? What do I teach in school? <laughs> <laughs> no, I teach you the principal. He's the principal. Okay, I used to teach geography. Geography. I used to teach geography. I I think that's that's the main subject I taught for the longest. I, I taught physical education for a while. Yeah. Because they thought I looked like a physical education teacher. <laughs> I taught English because I speak English and I, and of course they thought I could teach English. But I'm trained to teach geography and history. And and and, and I think that, uh, uh, that that's my favorite simply because I, I think that uh, I want to help students have that connection with the environment, relate to the environment that they live in. Mm. So yeah, that that was something that I used to teach a lot. Mm. Yeah. Oh, what about you? Me? Oh, I teach citizenship, character, education. Really? Yes, I teach people, students to be good and have good values. Mm. I think that's very important. What about you? <laughs> I teach something related to mathematics, um, helping students who have trouble listening in class. Yeah. It's related to mathematics. Uh, how about you? I actually teach vocational skills, and then what I do is I actually teach the students all about retail. Mm. And what do you do to CCA? What do I do to CCA? No chance here. Uh, <laughs> like, you can't hey, do that. You start with auntie first. <laughs> My CCA was the library club. Yeah, the library yeah. club, yeah, yeah. Look after the library together with the students. And through the library club, I started Scrabble. You know what Scrabble? Oh, Scrabble! Yes. Yeah. You what like to play Scrabble? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, strangely, in secondary school, my, my CCA was also the library, uh, but mm. uh, I, I love cycling. Uh, I stopped cycling on the road. I cycled in the gym. Yeah. Mm. What about you? Okay, just now you mentioned Entrepreneur Club, right? Something mm. to do Entrepreneur. So when I first came into Spectra, I was actually part of the Entrepreneur Club. So we will teach uh, the, the students how to create products and then uh, they probably will actually sell it to the teachers and go around and then mm. collect the funds and then it goes into the financial aid. Mm. Mm. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I I mean when I was a student, mm. when I was a student, I was into athletics and national cadet called NCC. Mm. Uh, as a teacher, I I used to train cross country track and field. Mm. As a principal, I feel like the minister of. Uh, <laughs> Labour, <laughs> <laughs> manpower. <laughs> no, no. Yes. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I enjoy cycling now a lot. Mm. Cycling. Oh, by the way, can we still do on the on the on the two safety measures as well? Can you do it again? Safety measures. Safety measures. Oh. 
I I wear the safety helmet when I ride. Yeah. I make sure I have lights on my bicycle if mm. I'm riding at night or in the early morning. Uh, I make sure I observe the traffic rules mm. because I think that uh, if you do not observe the traffic rules, then uh, everyone is going to be confused. Mm. And I don't cycle on pedestrian pathways <coughs> simply because I think that's too crowded. So I, it's okay for me mm. to go onto the road, but I cycle during certain hours of the year. Mm. So I did, I, I will pop back to any pain of Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Peace out. Yeah, peace out. <laughs> okay, and maybe we let Tasha now. Yeah, huh? yeah, Tasha. Thank you, Ellen. That was wonderful. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Ellen. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Very meaningful and very personal. And all the best for us, for I I I I I I I I I I I I so far on all of food, you know. So far, COVID-19? Yeah. I am so impressed. So many to the issue of the best is Put the petals together also. Mm, one, one, one is 
one of the claims is uh, it's a uh, COVID safe mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, very empowering for our participation. Mm -hmm. And we can we can do that. We can do anything. Mm -hmm. so that's that's part of the apprenticeship program. Mm -hmm. And then we have entrepreneurial club. We can come. We can open an e-commerce site. Mm -hmm. We have a farm. We have connections with all the businesses. The e-commerce can also come and see the retail classes because we're actually yeah. learning all the different modes of uh, yeah. payment as early as uh, SEC 2, 14 yeah, years old. That's yeah. so encouraging, that's mm. wonderful. So this is, uh, and then our, like you said, uh, Alan said, you know, we've met some our interns from New Zealand, mm. from some of our students from Aust uh, Australia. So we also have older folks like us, <laughs> the students, <laughs> the, 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 as students as well. So it's not just me doing all the, the uh, uh, being with them. Uh, it's really a trauma. Lots and lots of people. Uh, Everybody forgot everything, all the troubles, and you know, it just became like just a 
party, right? Mm. <laughs> then, you know, like, then carry picnic basket. That's why I got a lot of barang barang. Mm. Mm. Or candle lights or whatever, you know. Yeah, right. So every day, it's just like a party. Right? So at work, they're like, eh, they don't feel like they're at work, but this is very it's important work, right? right? Uh, so then, but we do have the languaging for it, like citizenship. This is, you know, we, we always contextualize the activity. Right? So, so, but you feel very, very, well, you feel very empowered. Yeah, so, so Keith knows when he goes for talks, how many days, you know, all of us, you see it, you carry yourself really, really well. Do you know who I do? Trust it, I am here. So, you know, so, 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 So it's not pigeonholed just in an area? No, no and, uh, I'm, a, I'm a chartered accountant, so <laughs> finance work also we say, BED, business development work, and uh, we will be able to carve out um, role projects for them, but one anchor project, for example, that's very concrete is the, is the summer school, because then we create a program, the curriculum, then we can sell the tickets, then we can make, we can make the cafeteria, the Cambridge, the accommodation, etc. College Cambridge because uh, okay, it's, it's uh, okay. yeah they they they're very supportive of of the work that we are doing. Uh, so we boldly book four weeks with them. Wow. Yeah. So we just have to get the pass and then the accommodation, and then create four weeks of curriculum or, or program to improve uh, full inclusion sustainability. Oh, essentially, it's a summer school. It's a oh, summer school. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So from this runway to there, what we do then is. Take DB studio and put it out into DB lighthouses. Mm -hmm. Then Ellen and Natasha will be lighthouse keepers. So mm -hmm. whoever we partner with, we're kind of sharing space and resources. Right? Mm -hmm. We just find a way to to generate the revenue. So it could be from uh, charitable organisations contributing to it because our work is not just the two of them or even the schools, but because through our programs, mm -hmm. we, are, we are actually working with youth students. That we have really started in the we got Malaysia, Philippines, uh, Kenyan groups already, and Hong Kong and Japan. I'm trying to get Korea as well. So very, very easy. And then in UK, ask them to point us to use the word uh, Cambridge, the village, you know, not the university. But. So what we're doing is we are really uh, being there for youth uh, during COVID. And through COVID and out of COVID hosting the five houses is called friendship and response. So um, it's not difficult for us to create um, is it once once you, you partner us, the resources you don't need so to create your own resources anymore. So in the end you just generate programs. And as long as you can do uh, programs, products and services, you got revenue. You got revenue, cover the cost, whatever profit is split, stay amongst the uh, whoever contributed. So so that's our economics and universal well-being model. So that's that's our that's our whole framework. Yeah. Like today I was actually doing BD in the morning. BD in the digital. Hmm. Too many acronyms in school. Yeah. <laughs> so which 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 acronym? Yeah, start. but I think what's what we were realizing was the bridge from education to higher education is quite stable in Singapore, but from higher education into the workplace, huh? it's not thought deeply enough. Huh? Maybe it is, but maybe we need to see a bit more of that. Because the way I was trained as an accountant, I just keep reflecting that maybe that's not a good model, but I reflected that we, we were exposed to many, many 
clients mm. and there was also a, a, a program mm. three years you know free exams but maybe we don't need the exams model we can create continuity and, uh, into higher education education instead of exams to, to just keep the, the knowledge so so we are building sustainability knowledge right? so and then we use we have all the resources and just keep creating new new research or new knowledge right from all the locations then then and another part of it is um, work skills uh. mm. and, like, and work skills cannot be cannot be learned anymore <laughs> you gotta work <laughs> and you get the you gotta get the skills you know mm. even for us when we learn it when we go there camera uh, don't know how to press the photocopier <laughs> you know don't know really don't know you know until we press the photocopier and sort it out <laughs> right uh, make a book uh, publish you know, we, we, we had quite a lot of public, we were running around as rookies, right? So you, you have to do it, you know, you, you cannot do it. Uh, so that, that's the work skills development. Um, and then opportunities and exposure. I think I think if it's just too early in, in one area, like just F&B or this and this, mm. it's, it's, it's too narrow. Mm. Like after school, it, sh it should really three to five years, right? You may be very exposed. After that, your learning is a bit more, you're, you're much more nimble. You know? And then the, the two, digitalization. Uh, and digitalization, no way a small outfit like this can afford to have our own thing and keep learning. So what we do is we go to Apple Store, have a look for free things and not free things, but all of them use, uh, I mean, we did the schedule for us, then we use Google Drive, um, and we have an email. We use WhatsApp. So we are now having all these teams already, right? Project teams on uh, uh, with the new students. They're in the village, you know, in the Philippines. <laughs> they're working with us. And they are learning in their university and all that. Uh, and the Malaysian uh, youth students also, they're kind of everywhere, all over Malaysia. And uh, so all oh, they're very independent in their work. They, they, they just want to be able to apply and stuff. So we, we provide the opportunity. Now, you know, if you can <coughs> find a way to be work with Spectra, to be one of the two, then we can, we can, it's a, it's a safe place that we can come go in as well. It's just really like a mini lighthouse. The, 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 the thought that I had, but it's not an original thought or concept, but I, what came across uh, the last hour was this idea of a school within the school came from the sports school. We have we, we, we literally ran a school within a school for athletes who even need finance support. That's why we went into night classes. I ran a day school in the sports school. I had a full night class and it was highly customized for people who needed extra support. So when I thought about this and I look at your studio, uh, I think there are possibilities for a school within a school that uh, that that I tell myself that uh, Our students, it could be people from mm -hmm. outside of Spectra who may benefit from mm -hmm. some of the things that we create. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so th that was a thought that came you across the facilities, yes. you know, and then, you know, in Saturday, mm -hmm. yeah. and creating a, a home yeah. in school, yeah. you know, yeah. it's, just a, it's just a safe place yeah. like, like this, you know, it, it's, yeah. and it's outside of the, okay. the you know, because everybody does still need to have the formalized yeah. education and have to do their exams, but we are able to have the flexibility yeah. and, and just the holding ground, right? Yeah. And the continuity from the So yeah, yeah. That, that was what like came it. into my mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, and, and I thought that uh, space is not a big issue in this school. <laughs> we work with this space, so yeah. actually, actually we're just excited to work with possibilities, yeah. you know, with people, with yeah. students, and and the strange thing is, once you take one yeah. step, then it opens up yeah. ten more steps. And I uh, and I would say that this is uh, this is uh, something which sometimes I, I look forward to. I mean, anything but impressive, you know, your your preparation, your your presentation, you know, and and sometimes within the formal structures of the school, we don't even come close. Yeah, because uh, somehow the methods that we use. Uh, would not produce such outcomes, mm. and, and and I think that uh, and I 
think that there is there's a space for us to explore things like that as well. You know? And for 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 some people who may not fit into a mainstream school model, but there is still something mm. that yeah. you know can That's come over. Usually we can come over and then <coughs> we have a dialogue with the students who are interested in in sustainable development thing, you know. And there are many, many business leaders in town here. Because they are captive. Otherwise, actually, before COVID, they are all over. They're never in Singapore. But in the, in this is the moment. They are very captive now. We, we can actually visit them or have them with, you know. Not, it's not a visit. We, we, like we said, give us a job to do, right? We, we, uh, we can always help. You know? So, they can always carve something. Like There's no small things, no small things. And then they have small, small budgets. They are, they are managing it. And then uh, they feel empowered. And, and, and there was another thought that came to my mind. Mm. I always uh, told myself that uh, in a limited way, the school could also be providing opportunities or even employment. You know, for and the, joke, the running joke that I have with Lando, Lando has mm-hmm. ASD, is that he <coughs> said he's thinking about it Every time he sees me, I'm still thinking about it. Yeah, and show us your, your job schedule, your work schedule. So, <laughs> schedule. Natasha also has one. Huh? Maybe you share with the next week's guest. Okay, Alan, you just talk this through how you begin schedule. Oh, uh, I feel Monday I have been wrong, you know. Let's see if I. To my TikTok. It's 7 a.m. from 6 to 7 p.m. So I am uh, some food. Also, so I will, I will just see as well. So, uh, so Ellen has split his days into different days, so he's yeah. different times. So he can show you. Yeah. Monday he's doing this, Tuesday he's doing that. Yeah. So his work, his uh, big Excel spreadsheet himself. Hmm. Yeah. yeah no. Yeah, so yeah. Wednesday at 12, 6 to 7 p.m. Yeah. Then also, Thursday I have summer school, 2 p.m. And also... Yeah, summer school is our Zoom time. Mm-hmm. Every Thursday we do so 2 to 5, uh, or sometimes 2 to 4. And they just jump in with the... So I was, we are now doing 5 Thursdays with Cambridge mm-hmm. on the funding part and on the conceptualization. So very easily, if any of the students in the entrepreneurial club say wants to join this kind of thing, right? Then, so I switch it very regular so that everybody can work the schedule around it. Thursday, two to five, you know, and if they can, they can jump in and then we record very light minute. But because the recording is in Zoom, they can look at it as well. So, so that's why it means Thursday in summer school. Mm-hmm. So in fact, the summer school has started. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just, just say, uh, okay, I'm so I will just see for the video. Okay, start the first day. For you, I have YMC. I also want. YMC. YMC. Yeah, YMC. Check out the video in the morning. I have my YMC chat, you know. YMC chat? Yeah, chat. Oh, you're a chat player. Yeah, I can. Oh, chat. Yes, yes. On Saturday, I have Agido. Agido. Yeah, Agido. And then I am Juba I come to one. Then I think I am team. Yeah, yeah. Team. Very busy. Very busy. 
I look at spend some time in my family. I also, I also, I will just go back to, to my original son. <laughs> After this? Go back to my original son. Go back to everybody in your own time, is it? No, go back to my original son. <laughs> oh, go, yeah, go back to your? Original son. What time? Oh, 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 ordinary time. Ordinary time. Huh? No. Dinner time. Yeah. Go back to all the old cats, you know? Go, go, go back to my shop, you know? Because I will go back and stay at home forever. <laughs> <laughs> go back and stay at home forever. <laughs> but all the old cats, you know? So, so, you can see Ellen is... Uh, Okay, Ellen, sorry, I'm going to take this away. So, we, we do work scheduling. Uh. you got to work, you got to schedule your own... The only time you can be independent and learn is you're a master of your own master master, right? Because yeah. you've got to control yourself, you've got to control your, your, your schedule, your life, your time, and how you spend it, and then contextualize it instead of activity. A lot of programs and activities, but ours has context as purpose, right? Yeah. So, Tasha, can you share why you find Bilberry's Blue or working with the youth towards you find it meaningful? What, what, what was yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Can um, yeah, I don't find it meaningful. Um, how, how do you find it meaningful? Um, I think for the five testes to the Cambridge. Mm -hmm. The five testes to Cambridge, oh, yeah. 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 Because um, I get to learn new things as I'm doing new classes every week, every week I learn new classes and um, so I get to learn new things such as Microsoft, Excel, PowerPoint and all that. Mm. So we, we will go from week to week and week to week we have a new task and, uh, and then you complete, we have re all written in essays, you know. Mm. Then we're going to publish the essays in anthologies and we're going to have editors look at them. You make it all real. So the, the idea is make everything real. Just do whatever that they do, bring it into society. That means you don't wait for society to, to endorse. And, uh, so you set your own standard. That means you say, I am already part of society. Mm -hmm. I am actually leading society because I have a direction that is positive and kind and caring and nurturing and taking care of the environment. Well, that's just it. But then whatever activity you do, conceptualize you do there, it's good. <laughs> and then you just speak, share about it, and you don't need to, and I say to them, you don't need to cut your windows, you don't need to get angry, you don't need to have any kind of advocacy, you don't need to shout it so loud, you don't just share with your friends, enjoy it, put it, put it uh, nicely on uh, social media, kick anybody out who is disrespectful, <laughs> you know? And, I guess this is what BB Studio is, this is what I learned in the last five years. Uh, I was very angry if, if, if I walk a table a while and Charlie was silent, they thought, oh, but, um, no, no, we're just happy. We're just happy, you know? Well, every day is a blessing, right? And every day is, is, is just in gratitude every day. Uh, mm? It's very fun. This adventure is really fun. We don't know what we're going to get. This adventure is very well, fun. I also am doing meeting also, you know. He's a meetings man expert now. Mm. Because his, <laughs> his, 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 his inquiry, awesome. Awesome. yeah, his meeting, yeah. because the, everybody has a particular inquiry that they're inquiring, that they have a task. They will put out their hands first, they're excited about this and they put out their hands. Others say, I want to do meetings. So we have to try all kinds of meetings. I mean, this is friendly meeting, this is picnic meeting, this is work meeting, this is project meeting, this is business development thing, this is investor relations meeting. This is all kinds of meetings. <laughs> I do that with you. Yeah, yeah. Monday, I have national health report. Then Monday, I have a visitation from free official. Yeah. And then, what company? Uh, visitor from Rice <coughs> Company, visitor from what? Library, and then the secret visitor that we cannot talk about. <laughs> <laughs> we have not to listen to Which any. Rice Company is that? We are currently working with. Uh, Singapore Rice Company called yes, the Little Rice yeah. Company. Also, I also work in Rice Company as well. It's oh. called the Little Rice Company. 
Is it the same? In that case, okay. okay. If for all your cash. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Colin both on it. The rice company is limited, okay. and they will okay. have the millet. Well. Okay. By the way, this year, yeah, ten anniversary. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> See, ten anniversary. <laughs> yeah, ten anniversary from Spotify Group. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we have to celebrate that. We're going to we do shopping. So we celebrate with opening of our big red blue lighthouses. Mm. Yeah. I'm coming. Ten. We shall be our ten anniversary of Five Five Two. You know. Yeah. I have we pictures. We will pop all the time. You know. But we shall pop all the time. Big and ready. Big and ready. They were all too small last time. Then we were blue. We were dance. Then uh, of course we leave you know. Uh, huh? But Hasha, you, you drew me to where we're in it, right? No. Uh, I do. Right now, my mm. son, he needs to fix my hearing aid, Mr. Abbey. But once I get fixed, I do want my hearing aid. Mm. Big Mashi wants to wear the hearing aid. Mm. <laughs> so they can hear everyone better, right? Mm. <laughs> yeah, so Ellen has his hearing aid on or something. Yeah, yeah right. Oh, yeah. So we're driving the thing yourself, to protect mm. yourself, you want everything. You know? Yeah, so we don't do that anymore. <laughs> so this, this is the level we get up to. Then that's it. They, they are leading us to the area. They don't know where they're going next, you know? <laughs> then you come out, then they say, can we do this? Can we do that? <laughs> like, okay, baby, yes, let's go. <laughs> but I, I think uh, the BB Lighthouses, as urban mobility is exciting. Eh? Numbers mm. on the right bicycle with your yeah. scooter. Okay, any anything that moves, okay, Sasha, don't worry. Legs also was included. <laughs> 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 okay, legs, bars, whatever, okay. Uh, and and uh, we are so, so so once we have it all, it's, it's so it's can just go lah, you and then and the school within the school, those anybody who don't feel right to learn so can go. <laughs> you know? It's safely being fenced in the program, you know. And you very trusted adults and trusted spaces. That's the most important. So <laughs> Family? Yes, your family. family. When do you tell, oh, tell Alan again? I'm uh, recording this. Alan, uh, this has been baked by our spectral uh, chef, mm. Justin. Actually, you get a chance to meet him someday. He baked the brownie. Yeah. And then he has the cookies inside here for you. So oh. you please bring it back home Hi. for sharing with your family. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. Put it in your bag, okay? Wow. <laughs> okay, this one. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so now, Tasha needs to be. Okay. This is baked uh, by our chef in uh, Spectra Secondary School. Mm -hmm. So this is brownie, and this one is co these are cookies. So you bring it back home to your family for sharing, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm thinking. So, the first one is to, I, I go, you take your picture? Mr. Peter. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mr. Okay. Peter first. Thank you, Tasha. Next step we can do this already. Thank you. Thank you. So welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you, Ellen. Come, stand here. We'll yeah. take a photo together. Well, it's about your visit today. <laughs> <laughs> we like to put people on the spot. Yeah, totally, man. Uh,
Oh, oh, I don't I, give give I, give free finger. I, I told myself that uh, we must come with an open mind uh, because uh, I mean I told myself not to expect anything and to be prepared for anything that would come our way. Uh, I would say that uh, it's highly educational. It's highly educational. Uh, it's, 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 it's something that uh, will probably uh, influence me deeply in the decisions that I will take in the future. Not only for Spectra, but definitely uh, in terms of uh, thinking about uh, what else Spectra can do for others as well. So on this note, uh, I'd like to thank uh, all of you for being wonderful hosts, Alan, Natasha, and Ping Yen. Thank you for having us this afternoon. Thank yeah? you for being here. Thank you for being here. <laughs>